Rambam, Hilchos Ritziaf, Oshmiras Nefesh. Today's program are 5, 6, and 7. Pedach Hamishi, Aleph, Kol Ha'erik B'Shkova, Gelem, Udina, Shaharik, Bal, Ari, Miklat. Whoever kills a person unintentionally, it should be exiled from the city in which he killed. To Weirth and Ari Miklat, Shinemar as it says, Vyashav Ba Ad Mesa Kain Gadol, and you shall dwell there until the death of the Kain Gadol. The Zara Bezish Li Chukay from Nare Seh Bishkav to the Yeshiv Beirei. The Bezin is admonished not to accept a ransom from the killer to enable him to remain in the city. Shinemar as it says, Vlay Si Chukay Felonas Alayr Miklati, he shall not accept a ransom, so he will not have to flee to the city of refuge. A person who kills unintentionally doesn't go to Gullus unless the person who he kills dies immediately. If he wounds a person unintentionally, even though the base then assesses that the victim will die, and the victim indeed falls sick and dies, the killer is not exiled. So it is that the death may not have been entirely the killer's fault. Perhaps the victim in some way hastened his own death or when entered his wound and caused him to die. Even if the killer severed the victim's windpipe, the esophagus, if the victim remained alive for a short while, the killer is not exiled. It's only when the victim died without entering the, any death spams, spasms at all, or killed in a place that was not open to the wound, being by system for shayish, for example, a closed marble building, as a gate goes to gold, for chin kokei tzabazah. Gimel, Yisro Shadig Meshkaga, Esa Eved, Gela. Ayidu, unintentionally kills a servant, goes to Gullus. Chin ha'eved Shadig Meshkaga, Yisro Eskirtashim, Chin Gershtashim, Shadig Eskirtashim, a resident, a Yateshev, who kills another Yateshev or a servant unintentionally should be exiled. Shinemel the Meyusso, the Ger, the Teshev of Sechem. Chosen Israel, the Ger, and the residents among the Zil. Tal, Ger, Teshev, Shahadag, Sisol, Vishkogav, Bishkov, Shogag, Arzanetic. When a Ger Teshev kills a Yid unintentionally, he should be executed even though he acted unintentionally. Why? Because Adam would lay them. Person must always take responsibility for his conduct. Can get a shot of get a shot? They should all all die. They should move to the Harvey. The cut of the maze is in. When they have a love, I will miss Kamala Harvey. To get a shot kills another get a shot. Because he thought it was permissible to kill, he's considered to be close to acting intentionally. And he should be executed for intended to kill. After the shot of this, after the shot of the army, they killed this issue. But one guy kills another guy unintentionally. The city of refuge does not serve. As a haven for him, Shemar of Nei's soul. Hey, I Ben Shargas Amin Bishkagu Gela. When a son unintentionally kills his father, he should be exiled. Hey, now Haav Shargas Bnei Gela Yadi. A father unintentionally kills his son, he should be exiled. Medvan Amorim Kishahargush Lebeshas Limut. When the father kills his son, while not in the midst of the study tear. Shehem Landi Amorim Sacherish and Tzarech Lai Uri Tam Another Profession. I'll be Mister Bnei Gli Lam Dera. If, however, he imposes punishment on a son while teaching him Torah, second knowledge, or profession, and the son dies, the father is not liable for exile. A teacher strikes a student, or an emissary of Bezin strikes a litigant, or refuses to appear in Bezin and accidentally kills him, he's not Chayef. Emer Lachtim hates him. Chopping wood, which is permitted act. So the punishment is not opposed when a father strikes a son, a teacher strikes a student, or a shliach of the base that strikes a litigant, but they haven't intentionally kill while performing a mitzvah. The house that when a person killed unintentionally, the one who killed intentionally should flee to a city in of refuge. The base in the city in which killing took place sends the killer and brings him back to the city. As it says, and the elders of the city shall send and take him from there. If the killer is condemned to execution, 
he should be executed. Like it says, and they shall give him to the hand of the blood redeemer. He should nifter pray to him. If the person is absolved, he should be released. And remember, he can't see like I just say, "Sif mevgel adam." The congregation shall save the killer from the hand of the blood redeemer. Remission is five gulas. Machzir neistem kemi. Killer is sentenced to gulas. He should be returned to a previous place. Remember, be shiva esa edel er miklatay. The congregation shall return him to the city of refuge. Cheskish meshiva esa meisel lishet tamet vachamim. Shemir again a gil adam, but that when he is returned to the city of refuge, he is given two teruel. Tamet vacham to accompany him, lest the blood redeemer attempt to kill him on the way. And they tell him, do not deal with him in the manner of those who shed blood. It was by mistake that this happened. When the Gladam slays a person who killed him in the outside of the home of the city of the Ruffage, he's not held liable. As it says, he's not judged as liable to be executed. Yud. The above applies whether he kills him on the road before he enters the city of refuge or if he kills him when re- returning together with, with the two of them guarding him. If he enters the city of refuge and intentionally departs beyond the, the Shabbos Tumim, he is granted license for his life to be taken and the Yigrel Adam is permitted to kill him. If another person kills him, the other person is not chayiv. It says, Ain lay down, there's no liability of blood. The killer leaves the city of refuge unintentionally, but whoever kills him, whether the Gail Adam or another person, should be exiled. If the killer is slain within the Shabbos limits of the city of refuge, the one who slayed him should be executed. Mizbeach Kalitz. Mizbeach in the temple serves as a haven. The temple serves as a haven for killers. This is looted from what Hasid says that the person who kills unintentionally shall take it from my altar to die. One can learn from this one who kills unintentionally should not be killed on the Mizbeach. The person kills unintentionally and takes refuge. At the Mizbech and the blood redeemer kills him there, he should not be executed as if they killed him in a state of refuge. What serves as a haven is only the top of the Mizbech of the temple. Moreover, serves as a haven only for a Kayan who is in the midst of the Aveda. person other than the Kayan. Kain was not involved in the worship, or Kain who was involved in the worship, but not near the Mizbeach, then the Mizbeach does not serve as a haven. Someone takes refuge in the Mizbeach, he's not left there, instead he's given guards and taken to the city of refuge. He's obligated to exile. When, when one is obligated to be exiled, if however he, a person feared that a king will have him executed as the king's authority, or that the Beis then will execute him as an immediate directive, I fled him as Beth, he should be saved. Applies even if it is a commoner. Unless he was sentenced to death before the testimony of witness, he delivered a warning is always required with regard to those executed by the Ezen. Fail to state Seach, Ushmeris Nefesh, Parak 6, Chapter 6, Parak Shishi Aleph. Shloy Shahim, Harig, and Malik Avon are the three categories of unintentional killers. Base. Ish Hedig, Meshkaga, Bahaloma, Gmura. There's a person who kills unintentionally without at all knowing the consequences of his actions. Where is Osh Namar, Rashir, Leitzada? We do not lay in ambush. With Guinness, she goes to Armiklet, we not so base. So he goes to Armiklet and he is saved, as we explained in the previous chapter. Gimbal. We ish paid with Tia Shkova Kurl Anis, who she had a Misa Zev, Maida Pelish, and a Mosabit of Amores Benilam. There's a person who kills Beshegi, who acts, whose acts resemble those who cause by forces beyond his control. In other words, that the death will be caused by extraordinary phenomenon that does not commonly occur. 
If the Bil Adam kills him, Narag Allah, he should be executed for killing him. There's a person who kills unintentionally whose acts resemble those of willfully perpetrated. Um, they involve negligence. He should have been taken care with. He should have been cured when he was. He should have been cured when he was. He should have been Such a person is not sentenced to exile because the sin is very severe and the exile cannot bring atonement. And he doesn't go to Aaron Miller either. Therefore, if the blood redeemer finds the killer anywhere and slays him, he is not Chayyot. Hey, Omai asks us that what should a person do? Yeshav Yishma Ratzma Miguel Adam, you should sit and protect himself from the Gael Adam. In Kalahat's Khanim Shargu Bidakhad, Ayyubla Rasta Kitz Ben, in Hargu Gael Adam, in Lahav Adam. If the Gael Adam kills any of the murderers who act or observed only by one witness or who were not given a warning, the Gael Adam is not hired for execution. Layyala Hamurim Maregu Lekavana, killing such an individual should not be considered more severe. They're killing a person who killed unintentionally. Kids that also zero given the shusar av or go bayas sister or sister cause the shusar av enough to be even be misa. When a person throws a stone in the shusar av him and it caused death, or he tears down a wall when the shusar av and the stone falls and causes the death. Bein shusar so bein mit shusar belayla doesn't matter whether he tore down during day or night. As a carved amaze of ain niklat, he's mamish carved amaze and he doesn't go to all the miklat. Bein shusar pshias, he shay hayalil ayin machach yisagal yister. It's Vamish Karl who made it because he should have checked the surrounding and then thrown the stone or tore down the wall. Zionists. Um, if a person tears down a wall into a garbage dump at night, if it's likely that people are there, since Karl made it and he doesn't go to Ari Miklat, if they're not around there as a Karl Amazed, Patram Nagalas, he's considered to have been closed. Close, um, close to having been caused by forces beyond his control, and he's not higher for Gullus. Ches, I saw Ches, I saw Ashbos, who the punishment by the Venus, who the punishment by Aim, Venikro Adam Yosher, from enough for love. Evan Bashas, a Sir Mesar is a Gala. If a people who use a garbage dump to relieve themselves at night, but would not use this for the purpose during the day, if it happened that a person sat there during the day, and he was killed by a stone that came into a person tearing down the wall, his person. It goes to Gullus. When Machash Nuffle Evan buzzed up Yeshua Nuffle, Allah made her as a part of my Gullus. If after the stone began to fall, the person came, sat down, the soul struck him, and caused his death, the person who tore down the wall is not high of the bears out. Tess, we can assert that Evan Machash, she not some other hoitsi, Allah, so Risha, a kilo, a part of my Gullus. The person threw a stone into her salam, and after the stone left his hand, the victim stuck his head out of the window, and it was struck by the person who threw the stone. It's not high of the bellus. It says, I'm not so serious, Pat, the monk is at me to. This excludes the instance when the victim causes himself to be found by the iron or other objects that cause the death. Person who hates when a person who hates the victim kills Bishkagin, he is not going to order Miklat. Shnem like it says, Fourth pine stays here. Let's start again. Yud. Hasena Sharak Bishkagin in Niklash number Wahu Lay Oyev. A person who hates the victim kills unintentionally, he doesn't go to her miklet. She never, as it says, he didn't hate him. So we operate under the chazaka that one who is an enemy is close to having killed willfully. What's considered an enemy? A person who did not speak to the victim for at least three days because of Falling individuals and considered to have close attacking Karla Mazid and they don't go to Ari Miklat. A person who entered an intersection holding an open knife in the hand without realizing that the victim was approaching the other side unintentionally stabbed him. A person unintentionally pushed a friend to his death with his body now with his hands. Or a person who intended to throw a stone that could kill two Amas and threw four. A shalal died to Shemad al Arik. person thought is permitted to kill. He intended to kill this person, killed another person. Called the 
This applies even if you intend to kill a goy for an animal instead of killing it. When a person enters a chotzer, or balabos without permission, and balabos kills him unintentionally, potem nagalos nemar vashayobe esreiu biyar encounters his friends in the forest. My yar shir shir shuz la nerek with kones hashem af kol kliyitz b'za. Figa chalicha sachanus hanager shleib rishus. It is a bakas b'tov chaleiv me'omeis potem nagalos. Person enters a carpenter's shop without permission. A block of wood flies forth and strikes him in the face and kills him. So the carpenter is not chayv. Now, maybe this is what it shows. Then, how's it going? He goes to Golas. It reads, Misha Yedila Sachovis Alis Lagag. A person was lifting a barrel with a pulley to bring it to the roof. Nifsaka Havel, Minoflal, Havidivar Naxi. And the rope broke, causing it to fall on a friend. Or a person was climbing up a ladder and it fell on a person and killed him. The Allah has put him in a glass. Zed is just shizik went on a soul. Smam is like beyond this control. Shein zedav ra kar li is bereva itam alak mi pelahu. This is considered something beyond this control. So something like uh, not something that is not something that's likely to happen. It's something an extraordinary occurrence. person was lowering a barrel with a rope and it fell on a colleague and killed him. Or was descending on a ladder and fell on a friend. They was shining with a polisher and it fell on a friend and killed him. So then he goes to Golis. It fell upon him and he died. Shibal Dara Fafela implied that the article must descend in an ordinary manner. It's likely that this will happen for the nature of a heavy object to descend downward speedily. So if the person did not hurry and act appropriately and properly, when the object descended, he's responsible to be exiled. When a butcher was cutting meat and lifted his hands backwards while holding a cleaver. So, so, if a butcher was cutting meat and lifted his hands backwards while holding a cleaver and then brought them forward a break and, and a bone to break a bone, and as a butcher do, if anyone is killed while he draws the cleaver back while he lifts it up in front of him or while he causes it to descend behind him, the butcher is not exiled. If anyone is killed when he brings the cleaver forward, in other words, while he lifts it up behind him, or while he causes it to descend in front of him, the butcher should not be exiled. This is the governing principle. Whatever the object that kills is descending, the person responsible should be exiled. If it's not descending, he should not be exiled. Even a descent for the purpose of an ascent does not cause the person to be exiled. Idal Kate said, How so? The person was ascending on a ladder and a rung gave way under his feet and fell and caused death. He goes to Patman Agolas. The death um person intended to throw an article in one direction and it went in another direction. Um so I skipped. I uh, um, person had a stone in his bosom that he had never been made aware of it and when he stood up it fell or let's say a super shari bushkaga or blind man killed him intentionally because they are carved to an anus there was a stone in the bosom and, and he was unaware of it and he forgot it then stood up if an ayah slips from an axe rebounding from the tree is dropping he is not going to go because this does not come from his own force but the effect generated by his force it's like a factor that is beyond his control person throws a stone at a date prompt to knock down dates Days fall on the child who kills him. 
personal philosophers don't allow Chayef to cause because the infant was killed not by force that he generated, but from the effect generated by his force. I think Chayetz is a Sibis. Chapter 7 Aleph. exiled to the city of refuge, his teachers exiled together with him. So it went out of he shall flee to one of the cities and he shall live. It implies that everything necessary for his life must be provided to him. Therefore, a Talmud Chachma should must be provided with. Uh, a a Talhaka must be provided with a teacher for the life of one who possesses knowledge without terror or study is considered death. Teachers exile this academy's exile with him. When a servant is exiled, the city of refuge is master is not obligated to provide his sustenance. Probably um the income of his labor, however, belongs to his master. A woman who is exiled to the city of refuge, her husband is obligated to provide her with sustenance. You cannot tell her to take the fruits of her labor in exchange for your sustenance. I can't have must speak in law unless the woman is capable of earning a sufficient amount to provide for herself. When a killer was sentenced to Gullus and died before the sentence was implemented, his bulk should be taken to the city of refuge and buried there. When a killer dies in the city of refuge, he should be buried there. When the killer dies, the bones of the killer may be taken to his ancestral plot. When any of the other Levim who live in the city of Arimiklat, he should not be buried within the city or within the Shabbos boundaries. As it says, their open space shall be for their animals, for their property, and for their life. That these cities were given for life, not for burial. Hey. When a killer accidentally in a city of refuge, he should be exiled to one neighboring to another. He should not depart from the city. The same thing with a levy it goes from city to city. Fish kulon kaitlis, they all are safe haven. Commissions barvim haru puts maari alavi or borach lira as a kilti. If he killed outside the city of the levim, he fled to his own city. The city serves as a haven for him. Both in mikla shurubu natschanim ain't kilatis. When the majority of the inhabitants of the city of refuge are killers, he's no longer serves as a haven. Shnamar v'diber vas nezikar ir he is tonov. The killer will speak his words in the ears of the elders of the city. A city that does not have elders does not serve as a haven. When a killer was exiled to the city of refuge and inhabits the city's desire to show him honor, you should tell him, I am a killer. Even though if they say we desire to honor you regardless, he may accept the honor for them. A person who is exiled to the city of refuge should not never leave the city of refuge. It doesn't matter for whatever it is. If it's if it's a bar mitzvah or it's a edus mamon, edus lefasher. So filu hatsal nevesh beduse the hatsmi al tevdi kechavim miyad anor miyad lelitim miyad lepelas. He should not leave even if he can save a life by delivering testimony. Or he can save a person from goyim, from a river, from a fire, or an avalanche. Filu kol yisrael sicham b'shuas ekiyu ben yitzru and yitzru b'sham b'leilam. He can never leave there, even if everybody needs his help, until the kaykhalo dies. And if he does the party, he's allowed for his death. All these kainim, we bring back the kilometer return from the city of refuge. Muhammad does not, he does not go back because he's considered like an ordinary priest. Following individuals are exiled and never return from their exile. Number one, a person who sentenced at Gullus at a time when the office of the high priest was not filled. A person who killed a Kayan unintentionally and there was no other Kayan, or a Kayan who killed unintentionally there was no other Kayan Gadolar. 
So then I was a part of an agolus. If however the killer was sentenced with the king of before the killer was actually exiled, he's not required to go to agolus. Actually, ling medini, meisa king gadol mina ya king achar taftov rachel ling medini is a chesim sister shnein sheni shnein medini from the if before the killer was sentenced, the king dies. Another king was appointed in his stead. Then the sentence of exile was delivered. The killer returns after the death of the second king gadol, the one on whose term of office was sentenced. Yod beis ling medini medim tzak king gadol meglishu melchalutsa. But the Kono given the word in the Kain and Godaban Yitzhak Shalom, but if the killer was sentenced and was discovered that the Kain was the son of the divorce, the son of a woman, under when Khalitza the Kain is negated. So if he were sentenced with their, I mean, being Kain Godal, he may never leave a city of refuge. When a killer returns to the city after the death of the Kain, he's considered to be an ordinary citizen. If the Godam slays him, the blood of the Redeemer should be executed. For the killer has already gained. Even though he gains the Talmud, he should never be in a position of authority. Should be diminished in stature for his entire life because of his great calamity. This great calamity that he caused. Although a person who intentionally injures his father is chayv, be executed by the court, just like a person who kills another person. If a person unintentionally injures his father, he's not high for gulas. Shalei chivet tiri gulas. Halaling nefesh adam shkog bavak meshbarner for the tiri prescribed exile only for a person who unintentionally killed another person, as we have stated.